Revolutionary letter number seven. There are those who can tell you how to make Molotov cocktails, flamethrowers, bombs, whatever you might be needing. Find them and learn. Define your aim clearly. Choose your ammo with that in mind. It is not a good idea to tote a gun or a knife unless you are proficient in its use. All swords are two-edged, can be used against you by anyone who can get them away from you. It is even possible on the East Coast to find an isolated place for target practice. Success will depend mostly on your state of mind. Meditate, pray, make love, be prepared at any time to die, but don't get uptight. The guns will not win this one. They are an incidental part of the action, which we better damn well be good at. What will win is mantras, the sustenance we give each other, the energy we plug into, the fact that we touch, share food, the Buddha nature of everyone, friend and foe, like a million earthworms, tunneling under this structure till it falls. Revolutionary letter number 13. Now let me tell you what is a Brahma Shastra. Brahma Shastra, Hindu weapon of war, near as I can make out a flying wedge of mind energy hurled at the foe by God or hero, or many heroes hurled at a problem or enemy cracking it. Brahma Shastra can be made by any or all, can be made by all of us, straight or tripping, thinking together like, all of us stop the war at nine o'clock tomorrow, each take one soldier, see him clearly, love him, take the gun out of his hand, lead him to a quiet spot, sit him down, sit with him as he takes a joint of Viet Cong grass from his pocket. Brahma Shastra can be made by all of us tripping together, summer solstice, at home or in park or wandering, sitting with friends, blinds closed or on porch, no be-in, no need to gather publicly, just gather spirit, see the forest growing, put back the big trees, put back the buffalo, the grasslands of the Midwest with their herds of elk and deer, put fish in clean great lakes, desire that all surface water on the planet be clean again, kneel down and drink from whatever brook or lake you conjure up. Revolutionary letter number 16. We are eating up the planet. The New York Times takes a forest every Sunday. Los Angeles draws its water from the Sacramento Valley. The rivers of British Columbia are ours on lease for 99 years. Every large factory is an infringement of our God-given right to light and air, to clean and flowing rivers stocked with fish, to the very possibility of life for our children's children. We will have to look carefully, i.e., do we really want, need electricity, and at what cost in natural resource, human resource? Do we need cars when petroleum pumped from the earth poisons the land around for a hundred years, pumped from the car, poisons the hard-pressed cities, or try this statistic, the USA has 5% of the world's people, uses over 50% of the world's goods, our garbage holds matter for survival for uncounted, underdeveloped nations. This is revolutionary letter number 49. Free Julian Beck, free Timothy Leary, free seven million starving in Pakistan, free all political prisoners, free Angela Davis, free Soledad brothers, free Martin Sobel, free Saka Bill Hayward, free Sitting Bull, free Crazy Horse, free all political prisoners, free Billy the Kid, free Jesse James, free all political prisoners, free Nathan Hale, free Joan of Arc, free Galileo and Bruno and Eckhart, free Jesus Christ, free soccer prisoners, Free all, all prisoners are political prisoners. Every pot smoker a political prisoner. Every hold-up man a political prisoner. Every forger a political prisoner. Every angry kid who smashed a window a political prisoner. Every whore, pimp, murderer a political prisoner. Every pederast, dealer, drunk driver, burglar, poacher, striker, strike breaker, rapist, polar bear at San Francisco Zoo political prisoner. Ancient wise turtle at Detroit Aquarium, political prisoner. Flamingos dying in Phoenix Tourist Park, political prisoners. Otters in Tucson Desert Museum, political prisoners. Elk in Wyoming grazing behind barbed wire, political prisoners. Prairie dogs poisoned in New Mexico, war casualties. Mass grave of Wyoming bald eagles, a battlefield. 
Every kid in school, a political prisoner. Every lawyer in his cubicle, a political prisoner. Every doctor brainwashed by AMA, a political prisoner. Every housewife, a political prisoner. Every teacher lying through sad teeth, a political prisoner. Every Indian on reservation, a political prisoner. Every black man, a political prisoner. Every faggot hiding in bar, a political prisoner. Every junkie shooting up in John, a political prisoner. Every woman, a political prisoner. Every woman, a political prisoner. You are political prisoner locked in tense body. You are political prisoner locked in stiff mind. You are political prisoner locked to your parents. You are political prisoner locked to your past. Free yourself, free yourself. I am political prisoner locked in anger habit. I am political prisoner locked in greed habit. I am political prisoner locked in fear habit. I am political prisoner locked in dull senses. I am political prisoner locked in numb flesh. Free me, free me, help to free me. Free yourself, help to free me. Free yourself, help to free me. Free Barry Goldwater, help to free me. Free Governor Wallace, free President Nixon, free J. Edgar Hoover, free them, free yourself, free them, free yourself, free yourself, free them, free yourself, help to free me, free us, dance.